terrifying monsters are ready to swing into action! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Top of the Deck, guys. Ace of Bats here, and today I'm coming at you live with an Odd Eyes deck profile. Yes, an Odd Eyes deck profile. Uh, we're coming up on the Extreme Forces release here, so I wanted to go ahead and show you a couple little tricks. Got the thing just about completed. The only thing I'm missing right now is just the Electromite, so those haven't come in the mail yet. So, in the meantime, I just popped in a couple of proxies. Just so you know, video does use proxies, I apologize. Um, but that's just until the card gets released. No big deal. Anyway, so without further ado, let me go ahead and show you a new Odd Eyes deck profile. Here we go. Alright boys and girls, we're on with the show. Let's start off with our first contender, the Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. Now, if you don't know what this bad boy does over here, um, what he does is... He's 2,500 point beat stick. He's the manga version of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon that burns for about 1,200 per Odd Eyes card in the Pendulum Zone after it does some battle damage there. Also worthy of note, it has a neat little scale effect that can jack up an, one of your Odd Eyes monsters by 1,200 attack points there just until the end of the battle phase, depending on what's going on. So, it's kind of a niche effect there, but it's pretty helpful. I think it's definitely worth a one-of. A lot of people just run three Pendulum Dragons instead of this. I think Phantom's definitely worth a second look. So let's bring out two Pendulum Dragons while we're on the subject here. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon with the Zarkart, and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and Scrub Secret Rare. So as you know, this guy doubles the battle damage that he puts out, and in the scale, if he explodes at the end of the turn, well, he blows himself up at the end of the turn in the scale, in exchange you get to search for any Pendulum Monster with 1500 attack points or less. Now one thing I do run as a three of is the Arc Pendulum Dragon. And great thing about this one, it's searchable, and it also, anytime an Odd Eyes monster is destroyed on your side of the field, or actually I believe it's an Odd Eyes card, anytime an Odd Eyes card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn, so it works whether you destroy it or whether your opponent destroys it too, which I think is very handy. The flavor text is just badass. Made from miracles, this valiant beautiful dragon has gleaming eyes that reflect an arc drawn in the sky. You gotta play three of these just so you have something to read. And we have two copies of Odd Eyes Persona Dragon over here. This one's a really great one. It used to be a Shonen Jump exclusive, and then it got the reprints in the Legendary Deck Collection, which I was really excited about. And what it does, now while it's on the field, it's got a quick effect effect that I think is outstanding. Target a face-up monster on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck, it has its effect negated. It also has a secondary end phase effect that allows it to special summon itself during the end phase if something was targeted and destroyed, and then replace itself with another face-up Odd Eyes monster, but I don't think that's terribly important. You really want to play this for the field effect in its uh, nice level for later. And card. The Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon over here. I'm not fond of the scale effect. I don't think the monster effect's that great. It's just another scale 8, it's another Sky Iris target, and it just basically makes, uh, makes a card in the extra deck I'll show you later. One copy of the Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes monster. So the thing about this is you can tribute a Supreme King monster, destroy this card, and then if you do, you can add a Pendulum monster with 1500 attack points or less from your deck to the hand. So it's like a bit more of a roundabout version of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, but it also uh, has, a, has an ability there that if any Pendulum monster battles an opponent's monster, you get to double any battle damage it inflicts, which I think is pretty cool. And you can also tribute it in Special Summon to face up Supreme King monsters. Uh, so if you have a bigger Supreme King engine, I think this would be an excellent card. And the pure Odd Eyes version, i just go ahead and keep it at 1, honestly. Odd Eyes Lancer Dragon, um, which is a 3,000 point beat stick. It's really easy to summon off of the Arc Pendulum Dragon. That's how I summoned the uh, Supreme King Odd Eyes as well, too. So, and the thing about this one, you contribute a monster, special summon it, and then they, it, it's a, it's got an Armades effect is the thing. It also looks really cool when it's a light type too, so offers you like a Chaos engine that's available if you choose to play Chaos cards, but I wouldn't recommend them in this particular deck. 
And next, we have the Performer Pal Odd Eyes Light Phoenix, the first of our Performer Pal Odd Eyes monsters. Very important. It's got kind of a blocker effect in the scale if you end up destroying something else in the other zone. And then also, if you have another Performer Pal monster on the board, you can tribute this thing, pop it back into your extra deck, and pump them up by a thousand points, which leads us to another monster, the Performer Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver. So, at the start of the damage step, cool thing about this one is, if your Pendulum Monster battles an opponent's monster, you can special summon this bad boy over here, and then that monster can be destroyed by battle, so it's good for clearing out other boss monsters, and then this also makes itself another body, so you can combine it with something like the Light Phoenix over here, and make it a 3000 point beater. When you're done, you can fuse with it. You can either use it in the Pendulum Zone to fuse, or you can use it in the main phase on the monster field to fuse. And speaking of big outs, we got Perform a Palad Eyes Unicorn. This is how you unicorn slam things. The monster effect isn't very good. It recurs a couple of life points if you pull a Perform a Pal out of the graveyard, something silly like that. It's not very helpful. The big thing that you want, you want to go ahead and put this in the scale, and you want to have a Perform a Pal on board with your Odd Eyes monster. The thing that you do with that, you select your Odd Eyes monster. And you select your Performa Pal monster, increase the attack points of that Odd Eyes monster by that Performa Pal, and then do some serious damage. You can only do it once while this thing's on the scale, but you can do it multiple times, so I say running two just so you can go ahead and juggle them is pretty handy. With a little bit of magic, the Performa Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. So, as you guys know, when this thing is special summoned, he can destroy two cards. And then, he can search for any number of Performa Pal monsters up to the cards that he destroyed. So if he pops, I don't know, two Odd Eyes cards, you get two Performa Pal Odd Eyes cards over here, just like this, or even a copy of the next card that we're talking about. And it combos really great with the Arc Pendulum Dragon, assuming that you had an Odd Eyes monster, because not only do you get to search for a Performa Pal, you also get to special summon an Odd Eyes straight out of the deck. So you can easily put down something like Lancer Dragon over here, pump this bad boy up by the Pendulum Sorcerer, you'll have a 4500 point beat stick that you're able to summon for free. That has Armada as power. So it has some niche effects that are pretty nice. Another one of our headliners, three copies of Performa Pal Skulker Bad Joker. Why? It searches literally everything in the deck. There's no other reason to play less than three. One copy of Noble Dragon Magician over here. This one's pretty handy. It destroys itself in the scale, so it's the worst scale effect. Um, but it's actually designed to level modulate the Odd Eyes monsters. It gets you into the level 8 synchros when combined with something like Light Phoenix. Or if you have something like Arc Pendulum Dragon on the field and you have this in the hand, you can special summon. Yes. It also doubles as an easier way to go ahead and get two Pendulum monsters on the board to make Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Then you can bring them both back and go ahead and do some more scale based shenanigans or more synchro shenanigans and things like that too. So it's a pretty handy card. And while we're on the subject of Electromite, let's go ahead and talk about Astrograph Sorcerer. Uh, the big thing about it is it'll replace anything that gets destroyed on, to in, on top of comboing really well with Arc Pendulum Dragon, so if something a Pendulum Monster gets destroyed using Arc Pendulum Dragon's effect, not only do you get to replace the monster on the field, you get the special summon this bad boy out and get another copy back to your hand, so it's good for getting those multi-ofs. And then the, the tech card is Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. Now this one actually acts as a Cyber Dragon when it's in the scale, as long as you don't control any other monsters, you can special summon this in defense mode. It also has the distinction of being a level 4 Dark Pendulum Monster. That's going to be handy for later, keep that in mind. Sky Iris, this is a 3 of because it protects your scales on top of searching for your scales and triggering things like your Astrograph effects and your Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon effects. You also have two terraforming, two copies of Ignite Reload over here. It's kind of like an upstart and kind of like a Mulligan just gets you back to gets you back to square one, cleans up the hands that you don't like, and then you just rock and roll from there. I found it pretty helpful. Two copies of Spiral Flame Strike, just because it searches for your main combo pieces, especially the Arc Pendulum Dragon, which you'll want to have on the field in the Pendulum Zone, especially pretty much all the time. Or alternately, if you control an Odd Eyes card already, you can spot removal. So, the neat thing about it, it only requires an Odd Eyes card, not specifically an Odd Eyes monster. 
So that also includes Pendulum Zones, putting that out there. Two copies of Duelist Alliance, just because Arc Pendulum Dragon and Odd-Eyes Pendulum Dragon both have Pendulum in their name, boom, instant whatever you need to finish a combo. Two copies of Odd-Eyes Fusion, because Odd-Eyes is a fusion-based deck especially too, so we have the Vortex, we also have the uh, Starving Venom and things like that to fuse into, and a myriad of other Odd-Eyes Fusions, so this helps you get there. Two copies of Deck Devastation Virus, why is that? That's because every single one of the Dark Monsters in it, well, not every single one of them, that's not true. A fair amount of the Dark Monsters in this deck have 2,000 or more attack points. It helps you get rid of a lot of cards, specifically hand traps, actually. Full Force Virus, just because, again, we do like ruining our opponent's plays. And a lot of the cards here, 2,000 or more defense, and they are Dark Monsters, so something to keep in mind. The one copy of Eradicator Epidemic Virus, because I believe you're only allowed to play one copy of this. Kind of a flavor choice I wanted to put out there. I didn't actually put this in the deck, I cited this one, but it is an option. Perform a pal. Odd Eye Synchron, it helps you get into a couple of the higher level synchros and do a little bit of synchro climbing if you wanted to jump into that a little bit. If not, I wouldn't recommend playing it. It's kind of an iffy one of. Let's go ahead and talk about the extra deck. We got one copy of Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon. I did cut this down from two. You can certainly play two, and I'd highly recommend it, but I did have to cut it down just for the sake of this profile. One Supreme King, Dragon Starving Venom. So, big thing about this one, you can actually copy effects that are in the graveyard uh, from big monsters, which is pretty helpful. And this will go ahead and act as a compulse, and it's actually a negation sort of tool on legs. Helps protect you from some of the hand traps too, which is really nice. One Odd Eyes Raging Dragon, it works to get over Dark Destroyer, and if you XYZ summon it properly, it can be a devastating OTK onto itself. Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, just because it works as a way to get into your other Odd Eyes Dragons, any Odd Eyes Dragon coming out of the extra deck pretty easily, as well as being a Utopia on legs too, and it's a pretty good target for anything Odd Eyes Unicorn based since it has 2800 points. So, big beater, that turns into bigger beaters, or more useful beaters. Good stuff. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon is kind of a pseudo cowboy for game, puts on a lot of pressure, so if you can't OTK with this OTK heavy deck, you go ahead and put this bad boy on the board and tell him, alright bro, best of luck. And the last but certainly not least, Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. This one serves as kind of the utopia lightning of the deck, it's very powerful, it requires the two dark monsters, but that also gives our Abyss Actor Curtain Razor additional jobs, so it's very accessible in this particular build. And then as for the synchros, let's talk one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, it can pull monsters out of your pendulum zone onto the field to assist with an OTK or to actually function as additional fodder, so it depends on what you need. Clearwing Synchro Dragon also protects us also protects us against a lot of monster effects, and it's a level 7 just like the other Odd-Eyes, so it makes for excellent XYZ material. Very similar in the effects, it's just that Odd-Eyes protects you from battle phase effects in general with the monsters, and then Clearwing can just go ahead and tag specific monster effects at specific times whenever, so more of a general use, more of an OTK use, just depending on the situation. Pick one and roll with it. One copy of Cyframe Lord Omega here. I had Zeta in here for a while because it was a level 7, but then I discovered you could easily get into level 8s by using Noble Dragon and, let's say, Persona Dragon, or alternately, Odd Eyes Light Phoenix. So we have an additional option there, or depending on how you play it, you can actually you can actually get a uh, Odd Eyes Synchron dig ahead and work pretty nicely there too, as long as you have another level 7 Odd Eyes and any general Performapel or Odd Eyes monster on the board. And then of course one Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. It's Regeki on legs and it's got 2500 points to beat with and it's a dark monster. It works, as a lot of the, uh, it works with a lot of the virus cards. It hits hard, clears the board, enough said. And here's kind of a mistake I made. I decided to put in Nirvana High Paladin. This is ridiculously hard to summon. The only thing it really does is, aside from its excellent effect, it really just gives Mirage Dragon a job, which I'm not very comfortable with. It'll probably go when I get rid of Mirage Dragon. And as for the links, I have two copies of Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Again, I apologize for using the proxies. I haven't gotten mine in the mail yet, but 
let me tell you about this effect. Um, Gwen, Gwen Stefani, can you uh, tell them about this effect? Thanks, Gwen. Well, as Gwen said, yeah, this is uh, definitely a pretty bananas effect over here. The effects kind of chain together and create some pretty bananas combos. They're really insane in Pendulum Magicians, and you can do a lot of good work here. One proxy dragon, just to open up a few more link zones and get those pendulum monsters back on board. And deco talker, just because it's generic, and I didn't really come up with any other monsters to put in here. I suppose you could put Borolo dragon in here, and it will work pretty nicely too, but I just like having the deco talker, just because it works as a simpler beater, it's generic, and it's easier to get to. How'd you like the deck profile? Do you have anything special that you're using in your Odd Eyes build? Are you using the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon as the three of? Are you even bothering with Phantom Dragon? Uh, what do you think of Persona? Do you like Mirage Dragon? I mean, what do you guys think? Comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and then we'll see you next time on Top of the Deck.